through the Fred Flintstone. Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. There All right, now, now, now the pressure's on. Oh, oh, oh. See the lights behind us. Obviously, you know when you were going to games in the they didn't even have lights. I mean, so is day baseball what you prefer watching? Well, that's like? what I was used to. So yeah. I, you know, I grew up right down the street on Anderson and Hoyne, and I lived a half block from Audubon uh, uh, Grammar School, and I would race home to catch down the Cubs games. And as I got older, then we would race down here because usually after the seventh inning they let you in for free. Yeah. You know yeah. they don't do that anymore. No. <laughs> but uh, we would race down and we would catch the end of games and. To be fortunate enough to, as a little kid, to be able to walk down to a major league stadium, and for me it was just, I, I never thought I, until recently how lucky I yeah. was to have that experience. Well, yeah, especially, I mean, I mean it's part of the neighborhood, it's my just a son, neighborhood. It hit me when my son said, Dad, how lucky were you where you could just walk and go to a game? Well, hold on, hold on. Now, hold on one second. 24, Smoked. 14. Smoked. Favorite players growing up? I mean, who did you idolize? Uh, you know, I was a big fan of the 69 team, so, you know, Ernie I wonder Banks. why you hate the bets. I mean, Ron Santo was a favorite of mine, Billy Williams, uh, Fergie Jenkins. One nothing, Steve. Oh, oh big no. save! What were you doing in 2016? What was that like? I, it, it almost felt like I was living a dream, yeah. like in a dream. Because, you know, all my life I've waited to see this happen and it finally happened, so it was pretty incredible. Go Cubs, man. Yeah, go Cubs. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Yeah.